Welcome to this short video on some of the features of iConstruct Clash. In this video, we're going to be looking at the Viewpoints command. And you can access this command from the ribbon, the iConstruct Clash ribbon. We can go to the Viewpoints, and there's a button here. But before I select this, I want to look at a couple things. So when we're creating viewpoints, we're going to be using the settings that are set in your Clash Detective. So if we go over here to Clash Detective, I'm going to go to the Results. You're going to see here at the moment I have it set to Hide Other. I could also dim other. I could not do either of them if I wanted to. I'm going to use the dim other. And we can also set the colors here. Now, if I don't want the colors to change, I could uncheck those. So we're using all of these settings in here. And if you needed to, you can also change some of these settings in the Navis Works options. Now that I have that set, I'm going to go back to the Rules tab. If I come over here to my viewpoints, you'll see that I have no viewpoints in here. So we want to push all these viewpoints into the save viewpoints, but we not we don't want to just put them in individual ones. We want to put them in a folder structure. So to do this, we're going to come up here to the ribbon. We're going to select the viewpoints button. The Clash Viewpoints dialog box comes up. So the first thing is we've got a template. Now we have some predefined ones in here, but we're going to create our own here in a moment. So right below this, we're going to click Add an Empty Template. And I'm just going to call this one Date and uh, test name only. That's it. Date and test name. And I'm going to go save. Then right below that, do you want to create viewpoints of the groups, the clashes, or both? I'm going to say I just want viewpoints of the, the groups. And so I'm going to save this. Over here to the right hand side, now we want to add how we're going to group this. So we're going to click on this first button here. It says add a new folder name. And the first thing that we want to add, I said the date. So under category, we're going to select date. And then I can pick how I want to put it in here. So I'm going to go year, month, and then day. And I'll just click on this green icon here and push it over into the right hand side. So there's the date. So I'm going to go OK. So now we've got the date. I want to add the next folder. So I'll click on the green plus sign again. Now we said test name. So I'm going to go to Clash, and I'm going to select test name from this list. I'm going to click on the arrow again to push it onto the right-hand side. And I'm going to go OK. And now you can see I've got it set it up by date and then by test name. I'm going to go back in there. I'm not going to add anything else. I just want to point out a few things. So we can also do by assign to in here, but you can also create some custom strings. And so if you want to put in something else, you could type in something and add it, and it would come in here, and then you could push that over into the right-hand side there. But we're going to do this in this situation, so I'm going to cancel it. So now that that's set, I'm going to save this one more time. Down at the bottom, you'll see your tests. Now, at the moment, you can see two of these tests don't have any checkboxes here. If I expand this out, you'll see checkboxes by some of these groups. So these were checked when I was in the review tool earlier. Now, this will only create views of the ones that I have checked. Now, if I want to do all of them, I'm just going to click on this, say select all of them. And this selects them all for every test. I'm happy with this. I'm going to go ahead and click on the Create button. And what this will do is it'll go through now and create the directory structure I specified by the date and the test name. And then it'll place the viewpoints of every single one of those groups in there. So if I go over to say viewpoints, here you can see the date. There's the different test. If I come in here, now you can see all the viewpoints of the different clashes. This concludes this short video on the Viewpoints command, which is part of the new iConstruct Clash.